Viewer discretion advised. Hello everyone, welcome back to Couch Co-op. Uh, hopefully Attention. the final time. Yes. Couch Co-op the movie, here we go. <laughs> the final climax. <laughs> or is it? Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> You'll have to wait till the end of the episode to find out. <laughs> yeah. To be continued, question mark? Yeah. Like those really shitty... JoJo references? Isn't that what it is? Like... I don't know, but it's just like... All those shitty amateur movies are just like, to be continued, question mark? Oh, yes. And then they never make a second one. I'm gonna have nightmares of those whistling fireballs. <laughs> Just because she shoots them so so quickly toward the end. She does, and I swear to God, they're homing. That's bullshit. Yeah. Like that. Like, ugh. I understand. Like, if I was my enemy, I would shoot where I believe that they'd be running towards to next. For sure, like I wouldn't aim where they're standing. I'd aim where, like, he looks like he's looking in the correction in the direction of the right. I'm gonna shoot a fireball to the right, because he's gonna run to the right. And... This game is really good with that for mm -hmm. some reason. The, what can I say? Rareware is a, is very good at their games. Yes. I. You never realize just how much bigger she is than you until this fight, too. Oh, yeah, I know. And in those, you have to precisely do. There's only four extra golden feathers in this level. Yeah. So, like... So it's not like you can just take your time all the time. Nope. Ugh. Ugh. God damn it! Can you try to roll, but he wants to punch? <laughs> hey man, you just have to do what you have to do to get out of the way. There you go. Now you're getting into a rhythm. <laughs> you almost threw yourself off the edge. I really need to take a leak. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the programmers are just like, what rhymes with weak? Doesn't need to make sense. <laughs> just needs to rhyme. She's like, man, this fight's been taking a while. I gotta piss. <laughs> <laughs> Can't we finish this now? Banjo is fighting for her life, and all until is singing about it. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. <laughs> I knew I should have went before he came. That's <laughs> what I get for drinking that super big gulp. <laughs> You're getting better at this fight, though. <laughs> God damn it. What's cool is that whenever the Jinjo hits her, she doesn't God damn it. do anything. 
Yeah, she's temporarily disabled. It just takes forever for them to hit her, though. Yeah, I know. Bad fireball! Go away! <laughs> Rolled into it. Splash damage. If I would quit missing... Am I not getting it in there? Doesn't sound like it. What the no, hell? The game just isn't registering. <laughs> the game isn't registering it. Oh no, did the game glitch? Do you have to get them in a certain order, maybe? I didn't think so, but probably. And if so, that's dumb, because... No. No, that, one, that one's just not going to work. That's stupid. Uh... I could have won. I could have won that. I was doing so damn good. You were doing really well. That's bullshit. Uh... Uh... What's nice is those come back. Yeah. It really saves on time having to go back and fucking grind out the levels for them. That would... Oh, how shitty would that be? Mmm, so shitty. Alright, let's do this. Like I said, couch co-op the movie. Coming to, <laughs> coming to a theater near you. Yeah. <laughs> Rated 10 out of 10 by the greatest of critics. The, the famous quote is, I wouldn't show my daughter this, and I can't believe they said that. How is this not culturally appropriate? All the great reviews. It was, it's beautiful. 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Directed by Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the fight had so many explosions. <laughs> No, if it was directed by Michael Bay, I think um, our microphone would explode, our, <laughs> the graphics card in your computer would explode, the monitor would explode. <laughs> All the eggs would explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what it is, every time you shoot her with an egg, it explodes. Like, <laughs> just kaboom. Every time she does a dive bomb, she explodes. <laughs> that red ore is actually just explosions. <laughs> <laughs> That fireball is twice as big. <laughs> it's got a Linkin Park uh, theme song behind it. Giant robots in the background. You know, because he did the Transformers movies. Okay, yeah. It took me a while. You forgot he did the Transformers movies, didn't you? I did. He did all of them. Mm -hmm. the, the most recent ones, I believe. No, he, he did all of them. He did the first one. I know that much. He said directed by Michael Bay. Ah, uh, yeah. I physically own that one. It's a good one. I like that one. I like the... Honestly, I like the new female actress they picked that wasn't Megan Fox. Yeah, Megan Fox is overrated. She's also a whore. She also has man thumbs. There's that, too. I never noticed that. Oh, yeah. Watch... Rewatch the first movie and pay attention to her thumbs. They're fucking huge, apparently. Well, you know the... Uh, well, you know the... Um, you know how she got this role in the second movie, right? She fucked the director. Yeah. That's why she's a whore. Mm -hmm. That's also why she wasn't in the third movie. Because <laughs> she wouldn't fuck the director. No, because they found out that she fucked the director for the second one. Oh. And the director was married at the time, so... Oh. I don't know. That seems like a great way to end a marriage, I guess. I'll do anything to get this part. Anything. Oh my god. <laughs> he's so mad, he's like, fuck the ground. <laughs> oh, that was it. 
Without Kazooie, Banjo is really useless. Mm -hmm. And in the second game, I guess the creators, like, figured that. Really? So, like, they gave it, like, there's a, like, I think we discussed this later, or earlier, but, um, uh, there's a power-up in the second game where they separate. Oh, okay. And Banjo gets his own his, his own whole set of new moves. Really? Mm -hmm. And we may have discussed that before, I just forgot. And or didn't realize what you were talking about. Mm. That could very well be the case, because I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. I never even played two. I don't know what it looks like or nothing. Looks like this one, but with the two behind. Ah. No, it, it, it looks a lot better. And it's... So, what did the developers change from the first game to the second game? Well, we added it to. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mumbo is a playable character. Well, no, yeah, like you were you were telling me about it. I remember that they mm -hmm. made the um, the rival witch doctor, um, which is female. Yeah. Apparently, they really don't like each other. No, they're very well rivals. Why am I doing so bad? Could you not hear me? Bite him. Right in the broom's face. Yes. Fuck that broom. Well, she's trying to break that broom's back. <laughs> oh, damn it. I overestimated where she was going. Well, you got 75 more feathers. I have a bad feeling about the next phase of this fight. You just have to concentrate. I can't miss that way, can I? <laughs> oh, you'll find a way, trust me. Now, as long as the Jinjo statues don't glitch out on me. Shoot a ball. Okay. Ooh. God ah. damn it. That's stupid. Ah. You held it a bit too long. That one's not going to work, but that one last. It's not dinging. Damn. That threw my whole groove off. You have no idea how hard that threw my groove off. Yeah, see? I guess you have to get them in an order. That one's just glitched. Yeah, no, that one's just not gonna work. We That's fucking stupid. We cannot beat this game. Because that one won't work. I'm gonna take a piss. I'll be right back. Okay. That's stupid. Man, fucking stupid. That sucks. So dumb. Oh, man, that's so gay. Yeah. So dumb! Do you want to give it one more shot? I said we give it one more try. Well, what we could do is um, we could exit the program and get back into it and give it one more shot. If it doesn't work, we can't beat it. Yeah. 
It was working. I don't know why it's not. I don't either. And then I got those. Oh, you already got the stuff? Yeah. Let's give it one more try. Then we'll restart the game and see if that fixes the code. I think we just restart yeah, it now. Just fucking restart it now. It fucking pisses me off. Fuck, so fucking pit. Oh, dude, trust fuck me. It, just, like, you fuck it. Fuck you. <laughs> Not a game over. Roll the credits! <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Oh, man. Fuck it. Fuck it, piece of shit. Fuck you. So pissed off. If it's fuck it, keep it. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> so pissed. Uh, stupid. So stupid. <sighs> John's just over here shaking his head, just back and forth. Just no. No. Fucking game. Just. Fucking just shitting out on us. Ah, it's so dumb. That's dumb. Could you imagine encountering that glitch as a kid and having no idea what to do? Oh man, I'd have been so pissed. You'd have been like, I can't beat the game, and your friends are like, well, Why not? You just do this, and you're just like, Well, it's not working. <laughs> and they're like, Well, I don't see why it worked for me. Yep. You must be retarded. Because <laughs> that's how it was. Okay, so. I re we reset the game. If it still, if if it still fucks up, we will restart the program. Completely, just restart the whole program. Yeah. Maybe a hard a hard reset will fix it. <laughs> <sighs> just. Yes. Maybe turning the emulator off and back on. So you know the ColecoVision or the ColecoVision. That uh. Uh, fucking Commodore. Yeah, the Commodore that Derek has. Yeah. In the instruction booklet, it says if the power light is not turned on, make sure it's plugged in. Really? Make sure it is plugged into the outlet. Make sure the fuse isn't blown. Make sure the power cord is connected to the Commodore itself. Those are like the three troubleshooting steps it gives you. Oh, man. They really thought people were retarded back then. No, well, no. Like, the Commodore was written... That instruction booklet was written over 30 years ago, mm. and it's still the basic troubleshooting. Have you turned oh, it off? Yeah. Have you turned it on? Is it plugged in? That That's true. You're right. It's basic. That's the first question any tech is going to ask you over the phone. Is it plugged in? And you know what's bad? Some people are like, oh, actually, no, it's not. Yeah. That's why they ask it, mm -hmm. because it's still relevant. You know, I'm curious. What, 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 what pot do you connect to? No one. Probably don't have the other one yet. Oh, probably. <coughs> <coughs> man, 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 man. 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 Woman. Woman. <laughs> yes. Doing a couple of stretches before we go in there. <laughs> Gotta limber up. Hey Dan, remember about three or four episodes ago when we thought this was gonna be the last episode? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can't like, believe you're back again, stupid bear and dim bird. What it should be, you should be like the last five episodes. You're like, this is the final episode. And then, <laughs> this is the final, final episode. Final Finally, epi the final, <laughs> final, final episode. <laughs> Just add another finally until it gets to the end. <laughs> finally, the final episode of all time forever. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. That's some MLG skills right there. Exactly. <laughs> Walking to the left. How'd you beat her? I just held the left stick down. <laughs> to the left. 
Went through a whole bag of chalk for this. <laughs> You know what you should do? You should overlay. On the final fight, you should overlay some, like, two steps from hell or something. Oh my god, like, yes! Like, like, the time you actually beat her, you should overlay some two steps from hell music. Yes! That would be awesome! <laughs> Oh, one of them is hit her. It's <laughs> pretty brave, man. What? Oh, That's... she ran over you. Fuck you. You fat obese bitch. Oh, I'm so pissed. I'm I'm so I'm still pissed from the last session. I'm so <laughs> pissed from the last episode. Oh, by the way, we record these in multiple episodes. You probably already knew that by now, but still, I'm so pissed. <laughs> ah. <Yeah>. Fuck you. <laughs> you just missed. I can't hit her at all. Despite all my rage, I'm just a man of courage. I don't think that's how it went. Nope. Right in the cage. Yep. Shut up, Monty Mole. I fucking know. Fuck you. You're the serpentine, man. They can't see. Yeah. They can't... They can't see movement. Or what is it they can't... They can only see in a straight line or something like that? Something like that. <laughs> so if she hits you, does your flight go away? No, I think it just acts as if like you got hit by like the snowmen. You'll you'll like flip backwards for a little bit. Oh. But it just sucks. I've already taken so much damage that I shouldn't have already taken. <laughs> he's, he's just trotting along. <laughs> Okay, which one is it that always fucks up on me? I don't know, they're all the same. God damn it. It was the one in the corner, I know that much. <laughs> okay, that one works.
<laughs> Serpentine! <laughs> Wait until that meteor comes over. Yeah. Get me with that and say fuck off. Fuck you and fuck you. I think he's got red eyes. That thing's terrifying. Yes. Oh man. Boom. Just don't stop. Man, this is an epic fight. Man. Oh. Did you hear that? It's Jim Joe. Oh, At the really? end. No, hurry what before what? Hurry, Colungo, rescue me. Oh. Her, Patsy, the big green guy in the lab oh, coat. Oh, yeah. So is that how she gets free in the second one? Yeah. He uh, enlists the help of her sisters, and then they, like, drill her out, and she's dead, so she's a skeleton the whole time. Really? And they devise, like, this machine to, like... Oh, look at them melons, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Um, that's fucking great. That is. That is beautiful. And you know they did that on purpose. Oh yes. Uh. But yeah, they like created this machine to like literally take life from people and give it to her. Wow. <laughs> Well, we beat Banjo Kazooie. Oh, yes. What are your thoughts on the game? It looks great. Yeah, I think it was very well done. It, there's a reason why this game is like rated one of the top 10 best 64 games ever. Yeah, and I see why. This game is really good. Like. I don't know. Like I said, it's probably we, me and you, have learned a lot in the time playing this game. We really have. 
And like, this is the first game for this channel. Yeah. And we finished it. Yep. I feel like this is a milestone, not only for us as players for being the game, but like, a milestone for the channel itself, showing that like, we've grown as, you know, we've grown with the channel. This is awesome. I think it also goes to show that we are constant enough to finish what we start. Exactly. I mean, yeah, we didn't 100% the game, but that was never... That's, that's not, not the point of this channel, though. Yeah, it's not what we do. You can always go back and mm -hmm. finish up. I actually feel very well accomplished with myself that I was able to beat her without the double life bar. Really? Yeah, I've only ever beat her with a double life bar. Oh. So, beating her that way... It was awesome. And in all honesty, like, the fight... The fight... The final fight is so fucking good. I, I, I'm, I, I know everyone heard me explain how well this fight is, like, the last four episodes. But... It's a really good fight, and it's super hard, but as soon as you learn her pattern... Easy. Yeah. And that's Because that's what it was at the end. I just learned her pattern. Yeah. And you knew the spacing between all the attacks. Mm-hmm. But that comes from trial and error, and that's what these old games are good for. Yeah. It's trial and error. I would have paid 60 bucks for this game back in the day. Trial and error and pattern recognition. Oh, recognition. yes. Grill Champa. Are they going to have a different name for every one of those things? I think so. Muty Snippet? But... But he wasn't mute, he talked. That's an act that's actually an enemy? I just thought it was just a spike like in Mario. No, apparently they're actual things. Huh. Croctus? That sounds cool. It does. That's like the coolest name. Oh yeah, remember him? He gave you so much trouble. Yep. I hate those frogs. He Buzz bomb. He looks so pissed. He's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like Spark. I hate those guys. I know. Oh yeah, Spark from uh, Spyro. Spyro. Yeah. Did I tell you that I own that for the the PS3? Which one? The first and second. See, I played the hell out of the second one, but um, I've never played the first really. I played it like one time. I've I'm having trouble with the first game. Like, Look. I don't know if they had it in the second game, but in the first game there's like these these super slopes. If you like dashed under the, like down them, you got like super speed and you could jump really high and far. Yeah. Well, to, in order to get one of the Twinkie Muncher. In order to get one of the dragon statues, you have to do that, but you have to do it perfectly for like eight of them. Oh and yeah. And you have to continually change your direction, and I can't get it. Really? That's the only dragon left before I fight the final boss. Oh, wow. So, but the game's good. I like the game. But, dude, I beat the second one. I never had the first one, but I had the second one mm -hmm. as a kid. And I beat that game, like, six times. Like, how you beat, how you beat this game all the time as a kid. Yeah. That's how I was with, with the second Spyro. Really? Yeah. That's Ripto's Rage, right? Yep. I fucking love that game. It's hard. Like, I replayed it... Um, nowadays, uh -huh. or relatively recently as an adult, the game's hard. Yeah, these old games are difficult. There was, um, in one of the levels, there's, uh, you're in the Alps, mm -hmm. or you're in the mountains, and you have to, um, like, get this Yeti, and one of the things you can do for a mini game is you can do this, like, hockey type thing, mm -hmm. and the computer is really hard, because I'm like, oh, I, I got this as a kid, this is going to be nothing as an adult. No, it's really hard. <laughs> I couldn't get it as an adult. And I'm like, how did I get this as a kid? Because back when you were a kid, you were better. I guess. Sometimes, like, like I'll play old video games, and I'll do worse than when I was a kid. Sometimes. Yeah. That's just because you get... That's because all the games nowadays are just so easy. Well, okay. Huh. Okay, I shouldn't make a blanket statement like that, but like <laughs> modern games have a have a lot of checkpoints. They have a lot of like easy saves. They're they're not as hard compared to like old retro games. Yeah, they're a lot 
modern day modern games are very forgiving. Yes. Except for Dark Souls. Well, apparently Shovel Knight's really hard too. That's what I keep hearing. I hear Shovel Knight's really good though. Yeah. Well, apparently, why Shovel Knight's so hard is because it, it emulates the old school games. Yeah. It. Um. I was watching some gameplay. Like, actually, I'm sorry. I was playing a demo at GameStop. And, yeah, I felt like I was playing a Super Nintendo game. Yeah, I played it briefly, I think, over at Cameron's or someone who had it. And, yeah, that game is hard, but it does seem really good. Oh, yes. Man, I can't believe we beat this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel kind of bad it took, like, three mm. episodes to get through Gruntilda. Yeah. But. Well, I mean, two of those were the statues were glitched out. Yeah, that was dumb. That was really dumb. But then as soon as we got the statues fixed, fucking just yeah. knocked her, just cleaned her clock, man. I love how the spell book is a cheat book. Yeah. That's really cool. The melons, though. I'm looking at her legs. Holy shit. Yeah, those legs are pretty crazy. She's got fucking legs for days. Yeah, she does. Hey, Mumbo got secret pictures. See, this is used in next game. This is the stop and swap. Oh. Yep. Did you get all 100 of them? Nope. I don't think so. We only got. Man, we got close though. We did get close. Only best players see pictures. Get 100 pieces and Rumbo show you. It's not fair. Can't we just have a quick peek? I thought he was going to say, can't we just have a quickie? Yeah. Oh my god. No, Mumbo, go now. Got hot date. Perhaps you haven't finished after all. Why don't you go back and look for the missing pieces? Nah. I love how the game is even just like, hey, if you really want, like, the good ending, you'll get 100%. Yeah. Don't worry, mistress. You know it's not going to be audible at all in the recording. You're nope. going to have no clue what you're saying. Nope, not a clue. Banjo-Tooie. Wait, what'd she say? I won't be back until Banjo Tooie. Yeah. <laughs> the end. Man. Question mark? Yeah. <laughs> Metroid. Question mark? Yeah, Metroid. Man. N64. Question, Question mark? mark? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I think with that, that'll be the end of... Um... Thank you so much for sticking with us for the whole uh, playthrough of Banjo-Kazooie. If you liked what you watched, um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Until next time, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.